Hey there! Da bin ich wieder und heute haben wir eine schöne Pelikan für... Ja, ja. No, today we'll be looking at a fascinating pen. Uh, it is a pen sent to me by Joost Appelbaum from appelbaumpennen.nl. I'll add the, his URL to the description of the video. This is the Pelican Souverain M101N tortoise shell. Now, some websites list it as Souverain, some do not. It is an M101, and that means it is a limited pen. So, this will not be in circulation forever. And it comes in this pretty fascinating box with some nice calligraphy on it. And you have this drawer you can pull out. You get a 62.5 milliliter bottle of royal blue ink. Uh, I'm assuming, and indeed, Royal Blue. Haven't used that. I'll, I'll be returning this pen, so I'm, I'll be using this ink, uh, as well as a nice booklet, uh, filling instructions, etc. Uh, you know the works. And then there is this fake leather pouch, um, which actually has the pen in it. And this pen, um, this fake leather pouch. You see that in other uh, pens too. Although in my recollection for the M800 and M1000, I got it was thicker. It was a thicker fake leather, still fake leather. And this is the pen. Now the pen is rather small. This is a vintage 400NN. Uh, this is a modern 400 Pelican 400, and this is the M101N. So it's a smaller pen. Uh, this is an M800, which a lot of people really like. And this pen is quite a bit smaller. Now, I'm going to cover the parts of the pen. I'll tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and then I'll do a writing sample. Let's start at the finial. Right at the top of the cap, uh, there is a Pelican logo. It's in relief, but it's not colored, as is the case with this Souverain, for example. Then we have the clip. Now, the clip does not have the pelican bill that we are quite familiar with, which I found a missed opportunity, because that's a trademark sign, and we don't see that. It does say pelican right there. At the back, it says Germany. You have a, a simple gold-colored band, two bands there, and you have the body. Now, when it comes to the body, uh, I was quite used to these tortoiseshell brown pens, and tortoiseshell is what uh, Pelican has gone for in this pen too. Here you have M800, 400NN vintage, and then the M400 you know, with the tortoiseshell and the white accents. Now if you, if I'm just going to take the M800 as well as this M101, then you see the rather large difference in what I think is material color. All the other ones I've just shown you were kind of similar, and here uh, Pelican chooses to do something rather differently. Uh, they choose an approach where the lines are a lot less clear and sharp. They are more all over the place, um, which some people, I'm sure, will like. I find the other finish a bit more attractive, personally. Here we have the piston turning knob, very simple. It does what it's supposed to do. It is a piston-filled pen, and very nicely, you have this ink window, which is actually amber-colored. Now we have the section, flares out at the end, we get threads, uh, which are rather sharp, and now we have a solid gold nib, 14 karat, this is the medium nib. Uh, in all, it's a small pen. It's definitely small, uh, and for me, this borders on usability unposted. I would really have to post this to be able to use it comfortably, uh, and once you post it, I think it's a, it's a very good size. Um, now. That's what I can tell you about the parts of the pen. What do I like about it? What do I not like about it? Well, this is an expensive pen. Yeah, it's listed on the uh, Applebaum site for 475 euros, uh, which is a lot of money if you consider that I bought my, four, uh, my M800 for a very similar price. I think for that one I paid about 478 so that's just three euros more, and then I got a much bigger pen with 
a very nice looking 18 carat gold nib. Whereas this one's only 14 carat. Um, and also, as I said, personally, I prefer the tortoiseshell brown used on the M800 to that that is used on the M400. Uh, sorry, the M101N used at the bottom, shown at the bottom there. So it is a expensive pen, and a pen's performance, I think, is characterized by its nib. And this is a gold nib, and it writes smoothly, but every time I lifted it off the paper, it gave me a hard start on various papers, ranging from the very smooth Rhodia to much more absorbent, cheaper staples paper. That raises the question of, is the price Pelican has put in this pen completely warranted? The red, it's nice, um, but it's not something I've never seen before. I have seen this on Indian pens um, that, look, it's a cat. Bye, cat. Um, no animals for harm in the production of this video. It's a nice red, but it's a red I've seen before. I've seen this on Indian pens that cost $20. Um, so, I am sure that there will be people to whom this pen really appeals, but I think, for me, the price is not entirely warranted. Okay, before we do a writing sample, I think we should take a couple of measurements. That's what I'm going to do now. Capped, we have 122.8 millimeters. I'm not going to take all these measurements twice, but just to give you an idea, 122.8 and the M800 is 141.3. Okay. Don't worry. Uncapped. I have... hundred and sixteen point four that would be four point fifty eight uh, of an inch section diameter I have point thirty five of an inch at the narrowest point uh, that would be nine point three millimeters I have ten millimeters exactly at the widest point that would be point thirty nine of an inch that's pretty much all there's to it now we would also like to know how heavy the pen is it is a piston filler it holds a decent amount of ink, and as to weight, it comes down to 18 grams, which makes it very wieldable, I would say. Not super heavy, not extremely light either, but it's a fairly small pen. Alright, having said all of this, I think we need to see the pen in action, and on the basis of that, I'm sure you'll be able to figure out whether or not you want to buy this pen or not. I thank Jos Appelbaum from Appelbaum Banner for lending this pen uh, for a review. And, uh, guys, I hope this was useful, and I'll gladly see you later. Bye-bye. Okay, so here we go, writing with this... Pelican M101N. This is the, uh, the sort of tortoise, and this is a medium nib, and the ink is diamine burnt sienna all right writing writing is pleasant smooth Very interesting. A nice, good, consistent ink flow. When it comes to wetness, as you can see, relatively wet, although not a gusher. When it comes to line variation, as you can see, You can definitely squeeze out some. Um, the one thing I notice is the um, the startup issues it has, which could be a bit of a baby's bottom going on there. 
Okay, finally, reverse writing. As you can see, it's possible. As you can see, it's very fine. But as you can also see, the writing is almost illegible. So that's not something you want to buy this pen for. Uh, I thank Yoast Applebaum of Applebaum Pennon for supplying us with this pen. It's coming back to you as soon as possible. And uh, I hope this was useful. Bye-bye.